Hi you guys, I'm walking to get something to eat. Hoping that I escaped the rain. I tried to check into my hotel early, but they said my room wasn't gonna be ready until four. It's now like two something. So I'm gonna go and get something to eat and chill out and stall until my room opens. It is humid out here and it looks like it's gonna rain, but prayerfully I'll make it to where I'm going before it um, decides to rain. my bag you guys this is my hotel hi you guys so let me show you guys my room or my apartment actually this is an entire apartment okay girl oh so here is the front door it's a little mirror hey it's 
some little decor. Here's the living room. Chairs and table area. Here's full on kitchen. Washer, dryer here. Closet. Dang. Welcome to New Orleans. Okay. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. It's day two in New Orleans, and I did have plans to go out and get food um, to what is it? Ruby Slippers. I think it's called Ruby Slippers because um, I've been there before and I really like their food. But y'all, I woke up, I didn't feel like walking nowhere. So I got on DoorDash and ordered me a sandwich and some grits um, from Daisy Mays. I feel like it's probably the same place that I ate the shrimp at yesterday. Um, but anyway, it's on the way. I'm going to go downstairs and pick it up soon. Bring me some coffee here, right here in my room. They have, of course, everything. They have everything that I need for coffee. I'm also going to, later on I have a, like a food cooking demonstration, food thing to go to. Um, I chose that because I've never done anything like that before. I had had a food tour um, scheduled, but I changed it because of course I do food tours all the time. I've never done one in New Orleans, but I changed it because I wanted to do the cooking demonstration. So that's at two. And then at seven, I have, a, um, uh, some type of tour thing that goes around to like jazz and music bars in the French quarter, I think. Um, so that's at seven. So really I don't have things until later on today. It's like maybe almost 11 now. <clears throat> so like I said, my food is on the way. I'm going to go downstairs and get it shortly and then um, get my um, get ready for the food demonstration, which they say like they serve generous um, samples, but I'm not going to like depend on it for eating. Um, so that's why I'm getting the sandwich now. And then maybe before I go to the... Um, the French walk thing, maybe I'll go get food before that. I'm not sure. It depends on if I feel hungry or not. Um, but yeah, that that's my plans for today. It is June 9th. Um, and I am in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, in my little Sonder hotel slash apartment rental. Really enjoying it here. I slept really good last night. Um... That king size bed was it. Okay, so yeah, I'm about to just relax, go get my food, and talk to you guys a little later. Bye. All right, you guys, I went and got my food from downstairs. I got a bacon, egg, and cheddar sandwich. Yes, it is cheddar, thank God. Because sometimes you be ordering stuff and they'll put American cheese or some other type of cheese up there, and I cannot eat American cheese on my sandwiches. Like, that is disgusting. It's a no. Okay, gotta be cheddar. Um, but I got my food. I got on this shirt because I had to go downstairs and I wasn't going downstairs in my pajamas. That is an absolute no, okay? Um, not gonna catch me outside looking like that. Uh, looking like I just woke up. So I just put on my clothes from yesterday because I haven't taken my shower and everything yet. Um, but here go the grits. Here's my bacon, egg, and cheddar sandwich. They gave me mustard pads. Oh, I wanted mustard. And um, y'all, I wanted mustard and I didn't even know how to put it in the DoorDash thing, like to request mustard. And look at God, we got mustard. I mean, they gave me ketchup and mayonnaise too. 
Ugh, but you ain't got to worry about me eating that. But yeah, so I'm about to eat my breakfast and watch YouTube. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. That's good. I don't even need no mustard. That bacon. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know now. These grits look kind of basic. This is New Orleans. These grits are supposed to be stone ground. These look like Quaker. <laughs> You see what we got going. Yeah, I put um oh butter. I forgot I got butter. Yeah, I just be relaxing. I'm chilling like um like I know where I'ma live when I get back to Chicago and I ain't got no idea. <laughs> but this is what it looks like when you really trust God. Like I'm not gonna be over here worried. God told me to rest. And that's what I'm gonna do. Rest. Okay, they good. I need a little more salt and pepper. I'm about to go get that. But I'll see you guys later today when I go to um my food thing i don't know if i'm gonna walk or not depends on how i'm feeling but it's not even a mile away so i might walk i should walk that would be the non-lazy thing to do but the reality is my feet hurt um because i've been doing a lot of walking in the past ever since i left california which i left california on saturday and today is thursday I have been doing a lot of walking because <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of moving around, a lot of moving parts. It's a lot of things going on. So I don't know if I'm going to walk or not, but I'll get some footage. See y'all later. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. So I'm all dressed and ready to go to the cooking show thing that I told you guys about earlier. So I am going to catch an Uber there because it's only $8. And the weather says that it's 89 degrees, but it feels like 102 feel like walking in all that heat right now like why am i gonna get all sweaty and stuff plus i gotta walk tonight on that um tour thing so we're just gonna save our walk until tonight and right now i'm gonna catch this good old uber um so i'm about to go downstairs i'll see you guys downstairs <laughs> Gumbo. I'm going to cook my roux in this pot. 
I'm going to put all the Trinity in this pot. And then added my room temperature stock or refrigerated stock to the Thank you. Thank you. There's only two kinds of people in this world. I don't care what anybody tells you. There's only two kinds of people in this world. There's cooks and there's bakers. Okay? Which one y'all think? Y'all, I got a small ice cream cone. This thing is big. All I have was one scoop. Mm. It's good, bro. All right, you guys, so I just took my Uber um, here at the Frenchman Street Jazz bar hopping thing that I'm gonna be doing tonight with people. Starts at this place called the Dragon Den. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, at times she gets really dancing, okay? Which means it might be time to hit the dance floor. So uh, <laughs> let's just get out the way. Tonight, guys, uh, today, uh, his name is Jelly Roll Morton. And uh, Jelly Roll Morton was a classically trained Creole piano player. Now, uh, he said he invented jazz, but he was lying. Yeah, they have 
It is nighttime now, almost 11 p.m. Child, I don't know who I think I am hanging out late on a solo trip. I don't ever do that, but <laughs> that um, the tour of the Jazz Spots didn't start until 7 p.m. and it ended at 10. So of course I was gonna be out late, but it's cool because I was with people, so it's, it was safe or whatever. Um, but it started, you know, getting a little. Sorry, y'all. It started getting a little worked up out there, and I am not like I do not hang out anymore. Like I, after a certain time, ain't nothing going on but dangerous situations and stuff that I don't want to be a part of or near or involved in. So I um made sure I made my way on back home at a decent time of the night. I need to get this stuff off my face. I let these people put this glitter on my face. <laughs> on the, um, it was part of the tour we went by this place at the art area. But anyway, I did stop and get me some food. I do not know the name of the place, child. I just know it was some food. They was cooking food on the streets. They got food everywhere. So I know I needed something to eat because I haven't eaten since that cooking demonstration thing that was way earlier today. Um, so I stopped and got me some gumbo and some barbecue shrimp and french fries. Um, show you guys that. So that's the barbecue shrimp, that's the french fries. So I'm about to eat my food, watch some YouTube, get a shower, cause it's been a long day, relax. Tomorrow I'm supposed to do a bicycle tour, but I'm not sure because it's supposed to be um, stormy weather tomorrow. So I don't know if we are still going to um, do that, but I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. But her profits and wages will be dedicated to the Lord. They will not be stored or saved for her profits. I'm sorry, they will not be stored or saved for her profit.
Y'all, it's a whole thunderstorm outside. So as you can see, I have canceled my um, my tour, my bicycle tour for today. It was supposed to start at 1.30. It's like 11 now. And I mean, it might stop raining at some point, but it's raining and it's thundering and lightning. So I guess this is going to this is going to be a day um, in the Airbnb. I guess I'm going to find something on TV to watch all day and just relax and pack my clothes because I'm leaving really early in the morning to head back to Chicago um, to find me an apartment in Jesus name um, so I can have a home so I can stop being out here hopping from place to place. Um I mean, resting, but also trying to figure out my life at the same time. Um, so, or trying, not figuring out my life because my life is led by the Lord. Um, just allowing, resting and allowing God to do what he's doing um, and to lead me into the right place where he wants me to stay and um, do his thing while I sit down and keep my hands out of it. Uh, it definitely has been a learning experience, a process of maturing experience because I'm used to, you know, doing work and getting to it for myself, you know. Um, but God is teaching me that when you trust in him, he don't need you to do all of that. He just needs you to do what he said and that's it and sit down. Um, so today is my last day in New Orleans. I will probably be up in this Airbnb all day with this hotel room, apartment, sonder, whatever you want to call it. All day, just relaxing and chilling. Um, I haven't even taken a shower yet. I had to go down to get my DoorDash food. I showed you guys that um, earlier. Um, I got biscuits and gravy this morning with some grits and eggs, and I'm making my coffee. And it's just going to be a great day, a great day with me and me. So I will um, talk to you guys probably tomorrow morning on the way back, um, on the way to the airport and back to Chicago. And we'll go from there. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.